Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today we are going to be going over the details and animations for the upcoming Dokkan Fest Resurrection F Exchange Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta along with a new side unit which is this AGL Jocko. Now, before we get into it, I want to give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, which is Gamersubs. If you guys haven't picked up a waifu shaker for yourselves like this one, or tried one of their many delicious supplement flavors, like the Grenadier Grape, which is one of my personal favorites, then make sure to head down to the link in my description. And if you see something you like, you can use my discount code TIGER for 10% off your entire purchase. Once again, that is Gamersups and code TIGER for 10% off everything. Okay, so with that said, let's uh, dive into these units starting with the animations first. So I'm going to pause my music real quick and here we go. Enjoy guys. もう<笑> <laughs> that was awesome. That was amazing. Um, the first thing that I noticed before we even got to the Goku and Vegeta was that Jocko for a side unit looks really, really good. Like his animations are insanely smooth. Right? Am I, am I crazy? Or does he look extra nice for a non dokkan fest? Anyways, um, yeah, Jocko is great. And then we get to the Goku and Vegeta, and this Goku entrance animation is phenomenal. It looks so good. Like, everything about it, the aura, the, the gi, and everything, the hair, it's perfect. And then, for the Goku super attack, I love how they made it a one-inch punch. I mean, as a massive Bruce Lee fan, as uh, someone that grew up with Bruce Lee as, you know, their idol, basically, um, it's great to see that. And Vegeta looks amazing too. My favorite part is this little, I mean, I mean, this entrance, this uh, active skill is awesome. But my favorite part, honestly, is, let me see. Uh, is it this right here? Little neck crack, man. Like something about it is so satisfying. Uh, hold on. Let me just play the sound for you guys. Right there. That neck crack? That neck crack it just makes the entire animation for me. And of course, overall, it looks great, but it's the neck crack that does it for me, man. Anyways, um, fantastic animations. <laughs> fantastic animations all around. No complaints from me. So uh, from there, let's move on to the details for both units, which of course are provided by none other than the homie Goresh, a big shout out to him for posting these on his Twitter page. And uh, of course, this video would not be possible without him. So let me just 
zoom in a little bit here because the text is a little bit small. And uh, we'll start from the top. So, leader skill, or sorry, uh, it's int Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Goku slash Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Vegeta. So the good thing about this is that it's not going to be uh, interfering or rather, uh, you know, they'll still link with other Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta's that are, you know, like a joint forces unit as opposed to an exchange unit like this. So some people I've seen on Twitter were worried that they wouldn't link with, uh, you know, future Blue Boys or anything like that, but that's not going to be an issue because technically it's Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku first, and then it becomes Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta, right? So if there's a joint forces, uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, they'll still link, right? Uh, leader skill is Realm of Gods or Master Devolution, categories key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170%, and allies in the Pure Saiyans category gain an additional HP attack and defense plus 30%. This leader skill is insane. This is... I might go as far to say the best leader skill in the game right now because Realm of Gods is already extremely powerful and there are a lot of pure Saiyans in that category like your UI Gokus, your SSB Vegetas, your Kabas, <laughs> and so on and so forth. But the point is, um, some of the most powerful units in the category are pure Saiyans, which means that, you know, giving them 200% as a leader skill is going to make them that much more OP, right? And Master Evolution too. Master Evolution also has a lot of pure Saiyans, a lot of really good pure Saiyans, like the STR Super Vegeta, for example. So, yeah, the 200% leader skill is going to be massive here. Um, so I love that. And then we have the intro animation, and then the super attack is uh, raises attack and causes immense damage. So he is a attack stacker. So you know, in long events, he's going to be you know getting more and more attack and doing more and more damage. Um, obviously, if you want to exchange with a Vegeta, then uh, hold on, let me see if there's details about the Vegeta super attack. It might be the same from what I can see because there's no. Oh, you know what? Actually, I lied. Okay, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. So anyways, uh, yeah, attack stacker for the Goku. Passive is activates the entrance animation at the start of character's attacking turn once only, gains key plus three, and performs an additional attack that has a high chance to become a super attack for three turns from first appearance, and then attack and defense plus 150% at the start of turn, gains an additional attack and defense plus 50% when performing a super attack, Gains an additional attack and defense plus 25% whenever attacking max of attack and defense plus 100%. Okay, so uh, essentially for the first three turns, he's going to have a 50% chance for at least two supers. And then from there on, uh, he's getting just a ton of attack and defense. Um, kind of a basic passive, in my opinion. You know, there's not really anything unique going on here. Just a lot of attack. A lot of defense and uh, if you like big numbers if you like you know big damage numbers if you like a lot of defense then this guy's definitely gonna give that to you and once again he is an attack stacker so over the course of longer events as he launches multiple supers that attack stat is only gonna get higher and higher right and then the active skill of course is the exchange into Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta is able to be used once Four turns have elapsed from the start of battle, so very simple, very basic, nothing gimmicky here, just four turns. And if you want, you can exchange into Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. And the links are Super Saiyan, or sorry, uh, Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Super God Combat, Warrior Gods, Resurrection F, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle. Pretty standard links for your Resurrection F units. And uh, I know there's a few links in here like you know, Resurrection F, for example, or uh, I think Super God Combat, they're kind of niche, but it's to be expected, once again. Categories are Realm of Gods, Pure Saints, Movie Heroes, Goku's Family, Bond of Master and Disciple, Turtle School, Master Devolution, Bond of Friendship, Accelerated Battle, um, Battle of Fate, and Power Beyond Super Saiyan. And moving on to the Super Saiyan 
blue Vegeta now. Let me just disappear for a second so you guys can see the full details. Uh, super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage, so he's not a stacker. So once again, if you want to keep stacking the attack, then you want to keep the Vegeta, or sorry, the uh, Goku, right? Because the Vegeta does not stack attack or defense. He gets greatly raising attack and defense for one turn. And immense damage, passive, changes a random type of key sphere other than int key spheres to rainbow key spheres for the first three turns from first appearance and then attack and defense plus 150 percent at the start of turn gains an additional attack and defense plus 50 percent when performing a super attack gains an additional key plus one and 25 percent chance to perform a critical hit per rainbow key sphere obtained gains an additional attack and defense plus 100 percent upon collecting a rainbow key sphere and then gains an additional defense plus 50% when collecting three or more rainbow key spheres. Um, yeah, just like the Goku, huge, huge attack and defense boost. Uh, this part right here with the crit chance is also pretty crazy because if you get four rainbow key spheres, he's basically gonna have 100% chance to crit. It's gonna be a guaranteed crit with four or more rainbow key spheres. Um, maybe less than that actually if you have some hidden potential investment, although I wouldn't really recommend giving this unit crit because of this, you know, passive part right here. I would probably give them, you know, as many additional as possible, but that's a personal choice. Uh, the point is, he's going to be getting a lot of crits, he's going to be getting a ton of attack, a ton of defense, uh, especially if you get the three Rainbow Key Spheres, and he's also an orb changer himself, so he's going to be giving himself you know, those Rainbow Key Spheres for at least the first three turns. Um, it might be a good idea to bring another Rainbow Orb Changer on the team if you want to get that consistently after the three turns. But um, as a whole, on paper, this unit just looks like it's going to be uh, really, really strong. Like, very, very powerful. Um, it's going to be a lot of damage. It's going to be a lot of defense. And that's about it and of course the animations look amazing um if i wanted to nitpick if i wanted to just like find something to complain about maybe they could have had some more unique aspects to their passive right something to make them a little bit more interesting because right now it's just ton of attack ton of defense and not much more than that but i mean i think a lot of people are satisfied with that a lot of people are okay with that yo i just want to see those big numbers I want to see those amazing animations, which this unit definitely has, and uh, I want to be able to tank, you know, like, strong enemy supers, right? So, I think these guys will be able to do all, do all those things, and um, yeah, on paper, they just look amazing. So, that is the Int Dokkan Fest Resurrection F Super Saiyan Blue uh, Exchange Goku and Vegeta. Now before we go, let's quickly check out the AGL Jocko, which is actually, actually really good as well. So uh, we have here Jocko, self-proclaimed super elite, leader skill, ally of jazz, ally of justice, ally of justice, category key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 130%, super attack, supreme damage, with a great chance to stun. So that's a 70% chance to stun, great for super bad road, of course. Passive, key plus three, attack and defense plus 140% at the start of turn. Great chance to evade enemy attacks when in the first slot of the rotation. Okay, so we have units like this where they get a dodge chance in, you know, the first slot or whatever, right? But usually it's worded as, you know, chance to dodge or evade enemy attacks as the first attacker in a rotation. This time, it just says, great chance to evade enemy attacks when in the first slot of the rotation, which means to me that you don't need to attack. You can actually get the 70% chance to dodge even before you attack, which is obviously a big difference. Um, so that's great. 70% chance to dodge as the first unit in a rotation. Um, also amazing for harder events like Super Battle Road and Extreme Super Battle Road, right? And then high chance to evade enemy attacks and attack the enemy's attack and defense, minus 20% for two turns when in the second or third slots of the rotation. So if you don't want to put him in that first slot, he's still going to have a 50% chance to dodge as the second or third unit. 
and then gains attack plus 60% when attacking extreme class enemies, gains an additional attack and defense plus 20% per attack evaded, max of attack and defense plus 20, or sorry, uh, max of attack and defense plus 80%. Links are Brainiacs, Flea, Solid Support, Patrol, sorry, I'm blocking it, uh, Patrol, Signature Pose, Resurrection F, and Fierce Battle, and categories are Movie Heroes, Special Pose, Space Traveling Warriors, and Ally of Justice. So, uh, yeah, Jocko looks really interesting. I think he's going to be amazing for Super Battle Road because of that great stun chance and also the great chance to dodge. So, in terms of like keeping you alive, in terms of mitigating damage, he's going to be one of the better units out there. And uh, he's actually getting a pretty significant attack and defense boost as well. I mean, you got 140% at the start of turn, and then 60% more attack against Extreme Class, and then 80% more attack and defense after four dodges. And since he gets the, you know, high to great chance of dodging, um, he's going to be getting dodges regularly, so he should be able to max out that passive pretty quickly. So, yeah, Chaco looks, you know extremely powerful as well. I mean, for a side unit, of course. You can't really compare him to the Goku and Vegeta, but for a side unit, very good. And, uh, of course, these guys, like I said before, um, I got high hopes. I got high hopes. So, that is gonna do it. <clears throat> Sorry, I need some water. That is gonna do it for the uh, breakdown of the upcoming exchange Goku and Vegeta, as well as the Jocko. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about uh, both of these units. And uh, if you guys are summoning on the JP side, then I wish you the best of luck. Uh, Global, as was announced last night, is going to be getting the Ginyu Goku. Um, so if you really think about it, both sides are going to be getting a unit that includes Goku um, for the third time in a row, right? We got the Exchange, Goku, and Gohan, and then the LR Goku and Gohan. And on JP, it's Exchange, Goku, and Vegeta. And on Global, it's Ginyu Goku, which is technically, I guess, you know, it's Captain Ginyu, but it's still kind of Goku. So just a lot of Gokus all around. No complaints, though, because this guy looks awesome. I'm excited for the Ginyu Goku on a Global. And obviously, after the anniversary, sometime this year, Global will also be receiving this uh, Exchange Goku and Vegeta. So, uh, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger, Uppercut Media, signing out.